What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you 14 helpful digital marketing tools to help you grow your low content book business. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said in this video, I'm going to share with you 14 helpful digital marketing tools to help you grow your low content book publishing business. Now, before we begin, I have categorized and organize these tools into two main categories, research and creating. And I'll list all of these tools down in the description along with timestamps to help you navigate through this video. So, tool number one falls under research, and that's keywordtool.io. Now, when it comes to keyword research, there's a lot of great tools out there. This one is called KeywordTool.io. Now, I am going to link everything that I speak about in this video down in the description in case you want to go and check it out. But this tool is pretty good. Now, they do have the free section and a paid section, but I like this keyword tool because it can pull up keyword research from multiple different places. They have Google, YouTube, Bing, Amazon, which we're going to do, eBay, the App Store, Play Store, Instagram, and a few others. So once you're on here, if you type in your keyword, let's do coloring book for women. This is going to give you a lot of great research that you can then dive deeper into. Now let's go ahead and click enter. Let's just give that a second while it does its thing. There we go. Now with the paid tool, that's Keyword Tool Pro, you can get all of this just here. You can get the search volume, the trend, the average CPC and competition. If you're just going to use the free version, all you're going to get is all of the keywords. But by using this tool, you can come up with a lot of great keywords and research that you wouldn't have found otherwise. So let's take a look at this. We typed in colouring book for women and look at all these keywords. Devotional colouring book for women. Adult colouring book for women, naughty, relaxation, stress relief. Black women colouring book for adults. So again, using this tool, you're going to find a lot of niches and keywords that you just wouldn't have found. So come over and check out keywordtool.io. Tool number two, and that's Google Trends. Now, this is such a great tool, and it's completely free. Now, you can get here by going to trends.google.com forward slash trends. Now, this is great for research and finding trends throughout the year. So, let's type something in. So, so let's say you were going to do something along the lines of football. So, if we type in football just here... I'm speaking about English football, not, um, not American. Let's click this first one. So you might want to create a book which is football related. Now with the keyword Google Trends free tool, you can check worldwide, which is what you'd want to do. So let's click on worldwide. You can do the past 12 months, all categories and web search. But this is going to tell you how popular a niche or a topic actually is and is going to tell you the interest by region so we can see that just here this is very important if you want to create books on a certain amazon marketplace so for football we know it's going to get the most searches here in the united kingdom because it's the most popular but we can check out other countries as well which have been typing in the keywords. And you can see related topics down here. And it's just a great keyword research tool or a niche research tool to find great ideas and trends throughout the year. Because if we take a look just here, you can see when it trends. So back in 2021, we can see here that in July to September, we can see that's when it starts getting the most searches. If we go to 
past five years, we can see those trends just here. And again, you can type in any type of search for any type of niche for literally anything that you want to see when things pop off at that time of year. So for that reason, this is a great tool just to see when trends tend to trend throughout the year. Tool number three, and that's suval.com. Now with Suval, what this essentially is, is a customizable search engine. So they pull all the searches from YouTube, Bing, Yahoo, Amazon, Answers, and Wikipedia. So if you type in something here, again, let's do women's coloring book, or coloring book for women. Now this is great for research because you can get so many ideas depending on what you type in just here. So we put coloring book for women and as you can see it's going to auto populate lots of different searches which people are searching around the web. Now if you spend a little time on this just like Google Trends again you're going to want to put in the research but if you spend time using these websites you're going to come up with so many ideas which again you probably would have never thought about. So right here we can see a lot of great keywords Worthy devotional coloring book for women. See, with that, I would have never have thought about that. So again, you just want to come in and start typing in all different types of niches related to low content books. And again, you're going to find some really great ideas. So that's Suval. And you can get there by going to suval.com. Tool number four and that's answerthepublic.com. So with Answer the Public, this is very similar to Suval because it's a keyword tool that visualizes search questions and suggested autocomplete searches and all in a word cloud. So if we come here, we can start typing in keywords. In fact, let's try this school planner. Let's type in school planner to see what searches the answer the public gives us. So now let's click enter. Let's give that a second to do its thing. And we can see lots of different research that we can dive deeper into. So this first one is questions. So right here we have 36 questions about school planners. We could have a look through that. Right here we have 37 prepositions, which again we can dive deeper in to see what people are actually searching how to make a school planner for teachers school of planning and architecture so right here you can come up with some really great ideas school planners for students school planners for teachers school planner for laptop school planner for windows for middle school so again this is just another great research tool if we look here 21 comparisons we could read through this if we keep scrolling through, they then have 195 alphabeticals. We can look through A, through B, through C, and see what we can have or use to dive even deeper into our research. So look just here, school planner for ADH, for ADHD. Again, using this tool, you're going to come up with so many great ideas. Tool number five mention.com so this is a tool which i have recently come across i haven't used this myself yet but this is something that i do plan on using because it's such a great tool now the main feature that caught my eye was this one and that's monitor so what you can do is pinpoint important conversations easily monitor over 1 billion sources across the web daily, including press articles, review sites, forums, and blogs. So what you can essentially do is put in your brand name. If your brand starting to take off your low content books over on Amazon, you can type in your brand name and track that across the web to see what people are saying. So this isn't going to be vital unless you've already making sales and have a little bit of established brand over on Amazon, but I wanted to share this because this could be a really great tool. And again, that's mention.com. Now they do have a free section right here. So free, 
for individuals who want to get started. And if we look along here, you can check all these monitored networks, which is still quite a few just here, it's not all of them, and you can have up to a thousand mentions. So again, this tool isn't really going to be necessary unless you already have some type of an established brand over on Amazon. Tool number six, and this falls under creating, and this is namechecker.com. Now, using a tool like this is very important in your business because if you're trying to create some type of little low content book brand over on Amazon, then you're going to want to have the .com, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Pinterest and all of the social media. So if you're just starting to set up a little brand because maybe some of your books have started selling well, you want to use a tool like this. Now, all this essentially is is a social media URL checker. So with this, what we can do is type in your brand name or a brand name that you want to start using. Pa brand name, pen name, that's what I mean. So let's type in something like Little Pink Furry Publishing. Now that's just as an example, don't go and use that. But now we click enter and it's going to tell us what's actually available. So right now we can see for Little Pink Furry Publishing, the .com is available, the Facebook is available, the Tumblr, MySpace, wow, that's still going, YouTube, .net, Slack, Vimeo, we can see which is available. So if you're just starting to create a pen name or you've come up with a name and you want to see if anybody else has used that name, you can use a website like this. And again, that's namechecker.com without no E on the end. But this is an absolute must because again, it's going to tell you if the .com's available, the Facebook and everything that you need. Tool number seven, and that's Creative Fabrica. Now, as you probably know, I absolutely love Creative Fabrica. With this site, this is what allows me to get everything for my books. I can get graphics, fonts, interiors, and again, absolutely everything that I need to create good quality books. Now, if we go up to the top, we can see they have 4.7 million graphics and 93,000 fonts. Now they also have a freebie section so I'm just going to say that as well. When you're on the site if you come to freebies go to all freebies and you can see what they're giving away completely for free. Now with me personally I pay for a membership. I pay for a month monthly membership because that's what allows me to come in and download absolutely everything that I need, and it's unlimited. Now, if you want to check out a $1.30 day trial for Creative Fabrica, then we do have a link down in the description. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase, I will make a small commission. And if you decide to renew your membership after the $1, it does renew at $19. But this is for people who are really serious about creating low content books and who plan on creating quite a lot because you get unlimited access to the 93,000 fonts and the 4.7 million graphics. So Creative Fabrica is one of my favorite go-to tools forgetting absolutely everything. Tool number eight, the nounproject.com. Now, this is one of my favorite websites for getting icons for my books. So these icons can be used in logos that you're creating and or in your interiors. So if you're thinking of making things like planners, then come and check out the nounproject.com because it's very cheap and they have 3 million icons. So let's type in something like book. Now we click enter and it's going to show us all the book icons again. This isn't actually for creating covers and getting graphics and things like that because it's best suited for icons within the books. So, or within your interiors. So what I did was typed in book and we can see there's 44,000 icons, which is absolutely insane. 
any type of icon that you need for your low content book interior, the Noun project is best suited for you. Their pricing is really cheap as well. So if we take a look just here, there's over 3 million icons. You can use PNG and SVG, and you can have free Creative Commons licenses and subscribers get unlimited downloads. Now, if you want to purchase an individual icon, it's only a few dollars. So if we click on here, what we can also do is change the icon color. By clicking here, we can change that to black. We can change the background as well. We could have that translucent, which you are going to need if you are going to put them in your interiors. Then if you go to get this icon, we can see Noun Pro Unlimited, $39.99 a year. But if you want the single Pro download, each icon is going to cost around $3. So this is super, super cheap if you want some really great icons for your interior. Tool number nine, and that's remove.bg. Now with this website, this is perfect for removing backgrounds from your images. So if you have an image which you want to remove the background from, I have one just here, I'm just going to drag that onto the home page and then it's going to upload like so and then it's going to remove the background as we can see and then I can just click download. So if you ever have pictures or images where you want to remove the background, come and check out remove.b. G. Tool number 10, and that's tinywow.com. So with TinyWow, they do a lot of different things, and it's all completely free. As we can see here, 100% free, no hourly limits. Now, normally, my go-to website is to use ilovepdf.com. But if you use it more than a couple of times, they want you to sign up. With TinyWow, you don't have to do that, and you can do so many great things. Again, you can actually remove background just on here. You can use the PDF to JPEG, or one of my favorites is Merge PDFs. And again, if we take a look down below, they have lots of different tools which are completely free to use. Crop Image, that's a great one. And as you can see, just so many more. So come and check out tinywow.com. Tool number 11, and that's Canva. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, I already know about Canva, but we're going to be talking about one of the features that they have. So, depending on where you are in your low-content book publishing journey, you might want to start collecting emails within your book so that you can start marketing to that email list. Now, when you want to do that, you do have to set up a website, a website that can collect emails or a landing page, squeeze page, or just have a website which then redirects to your landing page or somewhere where you can collect emails. Now, within Canva, you can actually create websites. So this is one from a previous video which I created. I'm going to link that in the right-hand corner so you can go through and watch. But with here, in Canva, you can create websites. So if I were to publish this, I'd go to publish, and then I'd use free domain, and then go through the process. But right here, Inside your book, you can have a QR code or a link. It's not going to be a clickable link because obviously it's a physical paper book. So people would have to type in that link on the internet. But you can have a link that goes to a page like this or a link that goes to your website. So I've opened this in a new tab so we can see just here. But you want that link or QR code. If you stick around a little bit longer, I am going to share with you how to create a QR code in your book as well. But you're going to want a link or a QR code which goes to your website or a landing page like this, which then goes to somewhere where you can collect your emails. Which brings me on to tool number 12, and that's Gumroad. So with Gumroad, you can actually create an email list completely for free. Now with this one, this is an email list for one of my free courses. So they sign up completely for free 
and that builds an email list. So right here, I've had 3,717 people take my free course, and now I have 3,717 people on that email list. So if you wanted to do this with books, you'd again need some link in your book which takes you to a page like this. Then this page is going to take them to their free offer over on Gumroad. Now right here we can see it's completely free. So what they want to do is then go I want this and then from here that put in their email address and get your free gift which in turn will build your email list. And again, you can actually do this completely for free here in Gumroad. So if we come over to the features, I will link these down in the description so you can come check it out. But you can sign up completely for free and start building an email list. So right here, it says no monthly fee and it's free to start. So Gumroad are actually going to take a 9% fee on anything that you sell. But because your free gift or offer is going to be free, you don't have to worry about that. So again, you can start creating an email list completely for free. Now, this brings me on to the next tool, which is tool number 13, and that's rebrandly.com. Now, rebrandly is pretty cool because you can mask your links. So right here, it says rebrandly is the industry leading link management platform to brand, track, and share short URLs using a custom domain name. So let's go over to the dashboard. I opened a separate account just to show you what it's going to look like. You'd want to go to links up here once you've signed in and created a free account and then go to new link. So we're going to create a masked link. Now what we want to do is get the URL of your landing page or your website or wherever it is you want your customers to go. Then we're going to take that come over to rebrandly and plug that in. Then from here is where you get a few different options. Now, if you upgrade your account, you can add your own domain name. So if this was your brandname.com, you would add that and then you can create links, masked links inside here. So we haven't done that in this video. So we're just going to use their link. So it's going to be rebrandly or rebrand.ly forward slash, let's do sign up gift. So let's do that again, like so. And now this right here, this rebrand.ly forward slash sign up gift is going to mask this with this and send them to there. So let's go to create link. And now that's been created. So this right here is going to go to my landing page. Now, the cool thing I like about Rebrandly is that you can create a QR code. So right here, if we click here, this is the QR code which you can put within your book. So instead of having a link within your book, you can download this as an SVG or the different sizes just here add that into your book, then when someone scans this, which is in your book, it's then going to take them to your landing page, and then your landing page is what's going to go to your free offer. So this is how you can create an email list and market to that list for your low content books. Now, another few things that Rebrandly can do is just going to track everything. So if we go here, it's going to track all your links and just give you some pretty cool data. Tool number 14, and that's Todoist. So Todoist is actually one of my must and go-to tools for my whole low content book publishing business and everything else that I do. What this essentially is, is just a Todoist in an app form. You get the Chrome extension, which I have installed just here. You can have that synced to the app on your phone as well. And you can just put in all of the tasks that you need to do within your business. Then as you've done them each and every day, you can start 
ticking them off. So this, out of everything that I've shared in this video, this is by far my favourite tool out of all of them. Now again, I am going to link this as well down in the description so you can go through and check it out. If you want to have a better understanding of Todoist, we have created a video in the past, which is just here, and I'm also going to link that in the right hand corner as well. Now, come and check out this video as well, because this is my time management video for running a low content book business. What I'll do is link this one as well in the right hand corner so you can come through and watch. Or if you come over to my YouTube channel and use the search bar just here and type in Todoist, it's going to bring up that video, which I just said about, and also that time management one. But this time management one is a must watch video because it's going to share with you how I manage my time. And it's also going to talk a little bit about Todoist as well. Now, let me know down below which one of these tools that you liked and that you will be trying out. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.